exercising is the easy bit. When it comes to improving your health and fitness, exercising is the easy bit. To go from not exercising, not moving, to exercising and moving is pretty simple, really. You just start. But that's the easy bit. I'd say the hard bit is actually looking at what else you're doing the rest of the time. Because if you're looking at exercise as the traditional sense or in the traditional sense of um, exercise being, I don't know, 30, a 30-minute 30 dose of you doing something that's going to get um, you out of breath um, four or five times a week, then if you look at it that way, your potential for exercise is going to be maybe a maximum seven times a week because you're only going to do it for 30 day, thirty minutes at a time, seven days a week. Okay, so that's three and a half hours of exercise a week. But then if you look at it in terms of the bigger picture, you've still started the week with 168 hours and if you take off the three and a half hours of exercise there's still a shed load of hours for you to be making an impact on your health and fitness in ways that don't involve the traditional exercise so yes exercise is easy to add in or to start but you really got to look at what am i doing outside of exercise time and how is that impacting my actual lifestyle that's going to have a way bigger impact than just starting your exercise again whether it's because you've had a break from exercise whether it's because you've been trying to do exercise afternoon brian it's like yeah starting to move your body is pretty easy it's being really honest with yourself and looking at what else you're doing outside of these three and a half hours four hours of exercise each week um, as to what makes the bigger impact what has the bigger influence over the rest of your life so I think this comes down to looking at and reframing the fact that it all counts looking at the fact that what you do that doesn't have to involve lycra and a spin bike or a studio or a gym or a run like all of that still counts whether that's you um getting up off your chair from working from home eight hours a day and just going for a walk around the block or using the stairs in the office if you're one of those that are actually working from the office and using that as your five minute break from your desk or when the kettle goes when you're putting the kettle on doing some squats or like it's about finding the opportunities to move finding the opportunities to move and seeing it as um a, treating it like as a treasure hunt treating it as a bit of a game as to okay i wake up at x o'clock in the morning how many opportunities can i make can i create can i find in my day to get moving that is the hard bit or that can be the hard bit if you take it to mean that it's difficult but if you treat your day as a bit of a game if you treat each day as a game and you look for ways to score points with yourself by finding these different ways of um, just moving all right just moving can count over a year as much as you hitting the gym three times a week if you do it consistently, if you get into the habit of finding some way of moving your body, moving yourself um, in a way that you enjoy. 
Like for some of us, it may just be walking. For others, it can be running. It could be swimming, cycling, throwing yourself off a cliff with a bungee rope, whatever it is. Like, find a way to move. That is the hard bit. The easy bit is adding exercise in the traditional sense. The harder bit is looking at what you're doing the rest of the time, the majority of your time, and whether they all contribute to improving your daily life, your lifestyle. Like, is the style of life that you have right now in line with or aligned with the way you'd like to live the rest of your life out? If it is, then great, continue. If it isn't, then it's never too late to start doing something to change that. And it's got to start by you looking at what your habits are in terms of what you're doing most of the time, not just what you're doing a few hours a week, but what are you doing most of the time? Is it contributing or is it pulling you away from the lifestyle that you want? So yeah, exercise is easy. It's actually about looking at everything else you're doing outside of exercise that really, really matters. And for us at MPRS, we break it down into four simple categories or four pillars of long-term health. And that is, yes, one, you have to get moving. Two is you have to look at your nutrition. Three, you have to look at what you're doing to help yourself to strengthen and condition the body, not just move, but what you're doing to stay strong, because I'd much rather you get stronger rather than just skinnier. And the fourth thing is the mindset, the mental health, the um, what's going on inside here, right? If you can improve all of those areas of your life, then what we find is you generally get better results Better results being results that you get to keep over time as opposed to get a result that you only get to enjoy for a couple of weeks at a time before you're then back off the wagon um, piling all the weight back on or generally driving yourself to feel crap again. I'd much rather you get to a, a level or a state or a lifestyle where you're consistently improving the way you live and your lifestyle and you get to keep the results that you get in terms of energy and how you feel and how confident you are and um, how clothes feel on you and how you don't feel like you have to cover up or hide away from cameras and um, you're leading by example for the family and um, everything else so yeah exercise is easy that's the easy bit the hard bit is what you're doing outside of exercise. If you want help with that, you know where we are. Just drop me a comment below this video. But otherwise, that is where the majority of your improvements can be made, i.e. where you're not exercising, where the time you're spending isn't involved in moving you in terms of the traditional exercise sense.